the Santak Yai, a highly anticipated ship that we've all been waiting for. I have always maintained the same opinion about some of these alien ships and that design and rule of cool does not trump function. I have a skeptical feeling that the fact that this ship is presenting its largest cross-section towards the enemy at all times may put it behind on any kind of PvP meta that Star Citizen will eventually have. Physical size and space directly equates to effectiveness on the field. And so I'm curious to see if the ship's power, shields, weapons, and other dynamics about it can make up for the fact that its rule of cool has had a detrimental effect on its effectiveness on the field. Although I have my skepticism of the ship, these are my initial impressions about it, taken in a PvP setting with other skilled pilots. At the end of the video, we'll discuss the things that went right and the things that maybe went wrong, and my ultimate thoughts on the ship for its initial pass. Enjoy the fights, and I will see you at the end. All right, so we got a hurricane with a gunner versus the Santa Kiai. Okay, so I have to play range here. Yeah, because if I get too close to his guns, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Hurricane has a much smaller profile than me. If we can get in close here. Nope, missed it. We're going to back off. Back off, back off, back off. Oh, and we're still getting hit. <laughs> At 800 meters plus, I can probably get a little damage in here as I get close. Try to manage the profile, but already we're out of boost. We're out of boost, we're out of guns, and we're in not a good spot. Not a good spot. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it's really tough. It's really tough. You know, I always talk about this in the channel, but it really does make a huge difference. You know, physical size of the ship is a dramatic impact on, you know, whether or not you're going to sustain or take damage. And in this case, we've got a ship that's almost twice the size of a Vanguard with its front profile. You know, which is the most common profile that you're going to show towards your enemy. Um, just, you know, just giving you the whole pancake the whole time. So if we can slow down here, maybe get a couple shots on them, but I'm not sure this fight's going to go the way I want it to. <laughs> you know, we have a chance here if... No. Yeah, turn rate limited. Yeah, we got to back off again because even though... Oh, wow, 1,100 meters still taking damage. <laughs> you know, so we have absolutely no range control capability right now. Yeah, see? I think Brooks knows it, too. <laughs> We're going to die. Go down fighting. <laughs> Good fight. All right, so we are going to fight the Anvil Arrow, flown by A55 Marky Mark. So we know we got someone who's in the seat who knows what they're doing. And we are going to see if we can get this big boat of a Setak Yai to at least have some, some wins under the bell here. Okay, I've only got one option here. If I get close to him, I got to trade. I've got better guns than him. Try to close the angle. Nope. One more turn. Come on. One more turn. If I can stay on target. There we go. Got a couple hits. Now I just got to back off a little bit. Get my resources back up if I can. Boy, this thing is loud. Out of all the ships I've flown, this thing is loud. Very, very loud. Alright, let's try to get our resources up. Lead turn in a little bit here. Get a little bit closer. Drop some magazine. Almost there. I'm out of resources. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, out of turn rate. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. <laughs> Oh, and I'm still getting peppered at 1,100 meters. <laughs> oh, 
You know, there is... There is absolutely nothing that this poor thing can do when it comes to managing his profile. Ah, he's still closing distance on me here. He's chasing me down. I'm still trying to recharge shields. Very slow in the shield recharge. Get my guns back up. I might have to make a final stand here. Bring him in. Oh! Missed the shot. I don't know why I'm trying to find mid-range here. I'm going to back off. Come on, give me my engine power back up. Once my shields are done, there we go. Get my engines. Try to catch them on the way in. Oh, the arrow is so hard to hit at range. Look at that. I'm just getting peppered at 700 meters. There we go. I'm finally within range here. And he's backing off. Oh, I might get him here. Nope. <laughs> oh, almost got him. I gotta track him a little bit harder here. Oh, he's watching my nose. Last turn, here it comes. Can I hit it? Can I hit it? <laughs> no, I gotta get a little closer. Ah, still getting peppered. I got about 5% shielding left. He's got his shields back up. I gotta force close. Gotta force close. I got one more turn right here. Oh, oh come on, baby. Just go down. I am a scaffolding of a ship right now. Uh, I think I just over pushed. Yeah, I'm getting peppered at 800. Shield recharge down again. Might as well, might as well go for it. We're committed. We might as well go for it. But it's not looking good. This is it. Ah, so close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not surprised. <laughs> Good fight. All right, so we're going to try the Gladius and just kind of see and to see where she stacks up. You know, I've, I've told Marky, you know, the way that he's probably going to have to fight this. Um, it's probably not in the Gladius' best interest to get really, really close to me since I've got those, um, got those really good guns, uh, Yang 2 guns. But let's just be smart about this here. Let's move our way in. A little corkscrew here. And here we start turning. Try and hit him from range here. Couple misses. I gotta get closer. Too far away. There we go. Kind of a line in here. I'm a little bit out of orientation here, but uh, he saw that coming. There we go. Good track. Nope. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay, I gotta get out. I'll take that. I'll take that. I took a little piece of his wing on the right side there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. You know, it's... Yeah, you know, I really only have one option with this thing, and that is trade. You know, I gotta get my resources up, and I have to somehow try to close to within 400 and get that Gladius to commit here. Yeah, once I'm close enough, though, he's going to pull the range like he just did there. Try to get closer. Get a couple hits on. Yeah, but I'm out of guns already, and he's pulling range again. I'm out of boost. Oh, I just feel like I just don't have enough with this thing. I got to back off. I got to get more resources. Yeah, you know, you just, you just don't have the Gs. I don't have the Gs to negotiate the fight against the Gladius, and he's peppering me. Like, he's just filling me full of holes at, you know, double the range that I can fill him full of holes. <laughs> you know? And this is uh, this is exactly what I've been talking about when it comes to the rule of cool over function. You know, we have a ship here that is just absolutely massive. Uh, and so he's peppering me from so much farther away. Okay, here we're coming in again. Come on, baby. A couple good hits here. Not bad. I'm going to commit here. I'm going to fully commit. And I'm out of turn rate. Now he's backing off again. It's 
just I'm taking so much damage here. I got a little bit of boost left, and I'm on a turn rate, and he's backing off. Oh, I got a piece of him. Come on. Uh, I got to back off now. I'm uh, 1,100 meters still taking damage. <laughs> Please. Please, Mr. Roberts. Bless me. Bless me with your love. Come on, baby. There we go. Good mag. Oh, I got no resources. I'm tired. I got one chance now. One chance. This is the turn, baby. This is it. Come on. Oh, I'm out of the turn. I gotta back off. I'm backing off. <laughs> oh, it's just... I'm a trade machine with no trade power. <laughs> oh, I'm a strawberry too. I've got one option here and that's to get all my resources as high as I possibly can. And then come in and just try to trade. Here we go. Oh, at a turn rate. Watch the G's here. I gotta slow it down. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna bring it down, let him come to me. In a team fight, you probably shouldn't do this, guys. Um, kind of dropping your speed real low here. But I'm gonna bring the speed down, see if I can't get him to commit a little sooner. He's crawling his way in. Here we go. Engaging. I'm too far away. I gotta get closer. Here we go. Here we go. Good mag. Oh, his shields are still up though. Come on, baby. Ah! <laughs> oh, this poor thing. You know, sometimes I really do wonder what CIG's thinking when they design some of these ships. No doubt about it, the Santac Yai looks awesome, but that's pretty much all it does. It looks good, but performs terribly. <laughs> it's not surprising to me that a ship twice the size of a Vanguard's profile has trouble avoiding fire, and in a game where turn rates and distance control are really, really, really... Um, kind of where the meat and potatoes of the combat sits. A ship that flies against all the norms of space combat surprisingly doesn't do very well in space combat. We don't have a thruster system that takes advantage of the articulating thrusters like the model shows and I'm not really sure if that's ever going to be the case. I mean at the end of the day the ship is massive and if it's physically large it's easy to hit. So I worry that sometimes these ships like the Cartual and the Santa Kiai, which are beautiful looking ships, weren't really designed to be effective in combat and may never be that effective. They're going to have to go against so much of the design philosophy just to force them into making them somewhat effective. I do worry about the future of these ships. But I guess they could jack the shields, jack the accelerations, and jack the weapons to make them forcibly in the meta. But Something tells me that these ships are always going to kind of be just behind the eight ball. When it comes to player versus environment kind of stuff, I'd say the Santakiai does pretty decently well. Um, and I think for everyone buying this ship, you know, it, you're going to have a gorgeous, gorgeous ship. It makes a bit of a weird sound. My first impressions when I flew this thing is it kind of sounds like there's a boiler pot in the back just kind of cooking off the whole time. So I wouldn't really give it top marks for sounding cool. The Cartual sounds like it's a growling tiger. This thing sounds like it's, you know, it's your mom downstairs cooking, cooking the afternoon, you know, boiling the potatoes or something silly going on because it just sounds so silly. <laughs> um, I think people will like this ship. I think it's going to be a good addition to the game overall. I think it's going to be out of the meta for quite a long time. And even with master modes, I suspect that the ship will always kind of be, like I said, just behind the meta, just because you can engage and hit it from so far away. I mean, I was taking hits at 1100 meters in some of these fights, which is almost unheard of. I mean, I, I could, I could avoid fire pretty consistently in a Vanguard at 1100 meters, but you know, and I'm still getting tapped and which, you know, causes problems because now my shields can't come up and you know, you end up slowly getting chipped away to death. Not only that, but the wings typically blow off, and when the wings snap off, 
well, you're just kind of screwed at that point. I was able to eke out a few wins. I fought some more rookie pilots, uh, one gentleman in F8, as you saw here. But, you know, these tests that I was going up against were against trained individuals who knew what they were doing because when skill is relatively equal, we kind of want to see where this ship sits. And unfortunately, the Santa Akiai is not performing very well at all, which is exactly where I figured this ship would be. Um, I'm not going to give it a tier rating because there's a lot of things that they kind of have to fix out about it. This is just my initial thoughts, guys, on the ship. Again, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful looking ship. Really like the animations. The artists did a really, really great job bringing the ship to life. Uh, and now it's in the capable hands of some of the other devs to make sure that they force this thing into some kind of combat capability. But in my opinion, you've only got two options. One, you either make it a great trading vehicle, which means it can trade damage very well, which means it has higher shields and higher damage output than other ships its class. Or you give it a high enough turn rate that it can get underneath the guns of people like the Cartowall used to do, um, because then its profile doesn't really matter so much. But if you don't do either, which is what the Santok guy is sitting at right now, you kind of lose on every on every round. So you lose on DPS, you lose on turn rate, you lose on control, and you just lose, lose, lose. But what do I know? I'm just a guy who plays the game for 10 years. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for hearing my my long rant about the Santa Akiai. I hope to see you guys all out for the next stream, the next YouTube video. Take a look at the Core Skills playlist if you want to learn more about PvP. And my name is Avenger1. I will see you next time.